So I got a hold of some uh, alligator meat. This is uh, white meat tender cuts uh, from uh, just basically an alligator fillet. This is one pound. I got, I actually got three of these. So I'll have a, a couple more videos in the future uh, when I use this. I'll be making it in a few different ways. But today we're gonna be making some alligator tacos. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get this black stone fired up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Go cut this up and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We got the alligator uh, meat. I kind of chopped them up in chunks. Uh, throw a little SPG on it. There's also a spoonful of some minced garlic. And we're gonna add, uh, I got this on medium heat. Add a little olive oil. And we're going in. So yeah, this is the first time I've done this. I am uh, in Oklahoma, so alligator is not something you typically see on the menu. It's got a hold of some, so we're gonna give it a try. I've had it before at a restaurant as uh, alligator nuggets, right here in Oklahoma City one time. It's pretty good. Let that cook for a minute and then I'll go ahead and flip it and stir it up a little better. Get a little more oil on it. So I've already got SPG on here. We've got a little garlic on here. We're gonna go ahead and add some uh, taco seasoning also. not using the whole pack of seasoning because I am um, uh, as these start to get a little more done I'm gonna add some of that seasoning I'm gonna be cooking uh, some onions on this side a little rotel that we're gonna use to top the taco and we're gonna add some of that taco seasoning on those so here we are got some uh, green chilies right here just right out of a can I've got some rotel uh, just right out of a can. Drained. Went ahead and drained the juices. And here I've got some onions with also some garlic in there uh, as well. So <clears throat> I haven't ever done this and I think what I want to do is uh, cook it separate. Went in and got even a different spatula. So we'll cook it on this side. Uh, but first let's add <clears throat> a little more olive oil. Get these onions sauteing on here with the garlic. Oh, 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 oh boy. You wanna throw that rotel right in there and those green chilies. I mean, whoo! Yeah, I'm gonna take this taco seasoning and season this up too. Yeah, throw a little more on that again.
I'll mix in just a little bit of water on this with that taco seasoning. And I'm just going to do a splash of Chardonnay wine. So now just uh, from the leftover heat on low, just got me a little tortilla here. Let that cook for a second. So right now I'm just doing one. So I just got me one of these yellow uh, tortillas there. Hopefully that holds shape. And we're going to go ahead and put the filling in. Just got our keto tacos on this side. Taste that. Holy cow. That is really good. She just, she just had a taste of the meat itself. You like that? Mm -hmm. What's it taste like? It doesn't taste like chicken, like our. So Dolores tried a piece of the alligator meat. Said it don't taste like chicken. I'm gonna try a taste. She said, "Wow, let's see. This is just the alligator meat that we'll be putting in the taco. Mm. Really good." You're right. It isn't chicken. Right there it is. Alligator. Got our uh, stir fry mix there. The onion and garlic and rotel and seasonings, uh, sour cream, some pico cheese. de gallo cheese. Yeah, let's see. The Lord said 10 out of 10. So, hey, if she enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. It was a 10 out of 10, it really was. It was good, it, as she said, it wasn't chicken. Didn't even really taste like chicken. It's kind of got its own little thing. Uh, but a little exotic uh, alligator. If you see some or get a chance, go ahead and give it a try. You just cook it up as you would chicken, season it how you like. Um, as this was not a recipe of any means, you make it how you like it. This is how we like it. I do apologize during the filming a little bit. I actually had the camera sitting on the shelf of the Blackstone. I usually have it on a separate uh, table or something so that it isn't wobbling. And I actually had to cut some stuff out. The camera's about to fall off. It was just a ah. So next time I'll remember not to do that. Hey, I appreciate you watching. This is John. This is Okie Smoking. Be sure and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this content. See you soon.